Hello, Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology here. Uh, check out our website at raywaldo.com and you'll find uh, links to all the files that you need to do this. Today we're working with the NT, the Nook tablet. This is an 8 gigabyte version. Anything that I do will be working for an 8 or a 16 gigabyte version, unless I tell you differently. This morning, uh, or this episode, we're going to install Clockwork Mod on the internal the EMMC uh, internal version of the uh, memory so that we can uh, use Clockwork Mod for whatever reasons, for backup or install ROMs or whatever, without using an external chip. Now, I do have an external chip that is loaded with uh, Clockwork Mod that will get the system started. This should work for any no working Nook tablet. Um, if you have this uh, Clockwork Mod uh, SD card image written, then uh, you hold the Nook button and the power button until it comes up, release, and you should see a box. There we go. Okay, and it all uh, Clockwork Mod always comes up in in uh, port in uh, landscape mod mode. So when it comes up we're going to remove the SD card and um, okay you can see it's already there and this is version 5.0.2.8 of Clockwork Mod and normally you don't remove a uh, uh, an SD card while it's operating but with Clockwork Mod it copies the entire file onto the uh, the on uh, onto the memory of the device so that you don't you're not actually writing anything to the uh, to the SD card so it's okay to take it out you could remove uh, use the mounts and storage and unmount okay and then once you get it out then we're going to what I just did was uh, put a uh, an SD card that includes the the zip file for uh, the internal version of Clockwork Mod. Okay, so we're going to install it just like, or flash it just like we would flash a, uh, a ROM. Now, this should work for stock, or it should work for uh, another uh, ROM that you might have installed. If you still have the original, old uh, stock version of the recovery, and you want to replace it with Clockwork Mod, this is the way you would do that. So, uh, in this case, this is a working ICS version. But when I installed ICS, it did not, for some reason, did not install the uh, Clockwork Mod. So we're going to install it right now. Okay, so uh, we're going to go over here and use the volume keys to select uh, Install Zip from SD Card. Okay, and we click the Home button for that. And then we're going to choose the SD Card, or choose the file from the SD Card. And it happens to be in my Nook folder. This is just a standard... Uh, SD card without any bootable disk or anything so it's just all stuff that's there and uh, this is in the Clockwork Mod folder and there it is there's a, a zip file and we're going to flash that and it gives me an option to say yes and I do and it's flashing recovery and it's done okay so uh, now we're going to uh, push the power button to go back and then we're going to remove that SD card. Okay. And uh, then we're going to reboot the system. Okay. And when we do, we're going to hold down the power and the Nook button. Okay. Well, we'll hold down the Nook button. And we're loading recovery from the EMMC, and there we are. We're using Clockwork Mod, and both of our chips are out. So uh, we did not use the chip. It's all internal now. So it should work for you. Okay, well, that's it for today.